Lucy and this is Memory Keeper Journals. Thank you for being here. So today's project is this um, set of envelopes that I was gifted by um, Marlene at Uniquely Edda. And so I started working with them and decided, hey, why don't I just finish videoing um, how I'm going to do at least the last one and we can do it together. I have no idea how I'm going to work on this one, but we can um, go about it together, okay? So I had already finished this one. I did a really cute collage on this specific envelope. There's more in her uh, envelope kit, but I just chose four of them. And I did this little closure and I covered the inside with um, wallpaper from Ruby and Pearl. Um, and I just decided just to do a little collage here with some of these little leaves and a ticket and the stickers that I love so much with the little girls, with the young girls. And then this one, I put a label here and I cut out some of those pieces that came with the envelopes as well. And they look like this. So I have about three of them now. But I used a little one here on this one. I don't know if I'm going to use these. So I'm going to leave them here. Maybe I could use them for another project. But this came look really cute. I just did the same thing. A little collage. And then in the back I put... Um, so I did it on both sides and I didn't realize that I did that, but it looks okay. I did a little ruffle here with some lace and uh, you open it this way. I also put more lace inside and the inside is covered again with one of Ruby and Pearl's wallpapers. Just very simple. I'm going to be using these for thank yous. So I could say thank you here, thank you here. For when I um, send out the the um, books or the sales and whatnot, but look how cute this one is. So I, I decided to sew um, lace here. So I'm almost done with this one. Um, I was just trimming it and adding some more paper here. So I printed this one with lace and I fussy cut around it so that it looks like it is like that. And I want to cover this little portion right here. So I don't know if I want to do it this way, like that. And that's going to be... Um, this is from Ruby and Pearl also, and so is this one. Don't know which um, kit it is from, but I think it's adorable. So I am going to use my book. Let me see, where did I put it? It's my glue book. So this one right here, and I'm just using um, just my stick glue here. I'm going to go a little bit over because I want it to come up to this portion because this one, I only had a piece of this specific uh, digital that I had already used on another project. So I decided to finish it off over here on this envelope. So just trying to use my scraps as well. I put plenty of glue, as you can see. And then what I'll do is just glue it on here. And then I'll take it off here, take my bone folder, and just do that. I did put a little label here, because what happened was I had already made a mistake. I wanted to do an eyelet on the top and instead I did it on the bottom. So I had to cut that piece off and I said okay then I'm not going to make this one into just a regular envelope like I did with these two. I am going to make this one into like pockets inside so we can open it all the way. And that is the plan. So now I can cut around it. So instead I'm going to cut straight down because this way I can use it. The other pieces can be used. If I have a piece like this, I can actually use it. 
fussy and it looks pretty because it has the little edge already fussy cut and then this side I'm gonna cut this way straight down only because I don't want to waste this specific paper and then this one I will do it straight down as well and that's how I save as much as I can for scraps and then I can use that and then these little pieces I can just cut away because it's just little pieces so I kind of have to strategize how I'm going to use the digital because I don't want to waste it you know um it's paper it's ink that it's using and every little bit counts you know so i really take it seriously when i'm using some of these digitals i use every little bit and i'm thinking that uh, some of these i can redo again so that i can do as happy mail because I have a few uh, people that I am sending mail to that are friends of mine in the crafting community. And I, I have not sent them anything yet in the mail because I've been so sick. But I have things that I have already started and I hid away in my baskets so that I am, nobody sees it on my videos. And they don't see it on my videos, so I hide them because I want to make sure that they get surprised when they get it. So that is it, guys. I think this one would look really cute like this. And it's not going to be glued down. I think this is not closing very well here, so I might have to take a little piece off from this spot right here see if it works now all right yes yeah, see it closes so much better and then my plan is this just a little bow here but I'm not gonna do it yet because I want to know what do I want to put here because this is so adorable maybe I can sew. No, I can't sew because it'll show here unless I do it really close to the edge and then you can't see it at all. That's a good idea. We can do that. Now, let's see if I have a piece of vellum here that is a scrap piece. I do have a pink. I don't know if I want pink. <clears throat> think that that would be the perfect almost perfect size of it how cute is that so we can add something in here like little pictures or something let's see um i should have a white this music paper oh i could have used that for the collaging but i didn't doesn't look like I have one here so what I'm gonna do let me look in this envelope here because I have all kinds of wallpaper but I also have pieces of vellum I think I was gonna do something with these I can't remember what it was because it's been a while so when I don't work on a project right away, I kind of forget what it was that I was doing. But I feel like, well, maybe I could use this one because it's bent. So that one would be ruined. Let's leave this in here so that I could use it in whatever project I need it for. All right. So it's supposedly... 115 degrees outside right now it is so hot i cannot be under the sun so my husband and my son went 
to pick up some groceries and I'm hoping they get home safe um, and yeah it's pretty intense it's so hot I went and took my puppies outside to go potty and I cannot be out there very long I can't. This is extremely hot. There's no way. I love vellum because you can actually tear it and you don't have to use scissors for it at all. You just fold it to where you want it to be and that's it. See, like that. I use my nails to make it pretty straight and then tear it carefully and there we go um, I might have to cut a little sliver of it all right I can't use the scissors because I will not cut it straight so I am gonna go ahead and just take a little sliver out of this with this so much easier for me to do Put that aside. Mm -hmm. That looks cute. And then we can put a picture or something in here. Um, do I have a bigger picture? Like that would be so adorable. Like look at these cute little pictures from. This is from. Um, what's that? I'm. Um, I don't know why I keep forgetting her name. Let me see. How about we use some of these? This is from Sample. This one is from Lydia at Raindrop Lila. So I think these white ones would look really cute in here. Um, the daffodils, that stands out in the blue. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. I kind of like this one better with the window. Let's do this one. So these two pictures I can add in there. Mm, pink ones, maybe. No. And then maybe we can add something else. What else do I have? Daisies. I love daisies. They are kind of my favorite. It's so cute. I love this one. Should we add that? No, I think these two are good enough for now. That would be cute. But this is the idea of what it is that I wanted to do. Or I can add scrappy little papers and sew it on the top. I can do that too, but in the meantime, let me go and sew this. And that's how it came out. And I did um, one side at a time because when I do the one side and then I have to turn it, sometimes it's not in the right spot where I wanted it. And I did not want it to go over the lace. So now I can cut all these bits that are sticking out. And that's it, it would look so cute. Okay, and then on this side. And now we have a cute little pocket in there. How adorable is that? The only thing I didn't do was, um, maybe this can do a little bit of this over it so that it can show some interest. Maybe if I bend it a little bit like that, I just don't wanna pull it in a way that it breaks, you know? So I'm gonna be very gentle. I don't know if you guys can see, but okay, I think that works. 
right? I think so. We can put a little note here. Um, and there's, I mean, this is so beautiful. Like, you really don't need to put much. That's why I decided to just add the lace on the sides, and that's it. And now with the with the bow, it's going to look really pretty. Watch. You'll see. <clears throat> and this is part of her digital. So it's just adding a little bit of my touch on this to decorate. And then I can use it to gift someone. You know, like a little thank you or a little note to say thinking of you and whatnot. That's cute. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? Just a little bow. I love ribbons. Ribbons are the best in lace. So I think it looks adorable. And we can also use it like a belly band so we can add something else in there. So that would be cute. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. It's just to show you an idea. And they, these are my scraps. On this one, I did it for my journal, which I'm also going to be adding another video on finishing this with you guys because this one is a monster. As you can see, it's a monster. Look at this. Chunky baby. Okay, so I'm going to leave her there. But anyway, this one is going to go there. I had to change the... Um, I have one of these in the closure. And because I made a hole in it and I put a brad, it broke. So that's not a good idea. <laughs> so I decided to do my own little um, circles that I cut out and glued them together to make it thick enough. Put another one. I took a ticket and made a hole out of that one too and made a circle out of it too and um, added it to this. And it looks really cute. Uh -huh. And then I did the little collage here. And so it goes in this journal. So uh -huh. so these three are done. So now we're going to do another one from uh, Uniquely Aya. Well, from my Lynn. So it's this one. And I think this one is really cute. I love the color of it. And so we are going to go ahead and decorate it and see how I am going to decorate this this hand is a little bit uh, bad today it hurts a little bit but it's not as bad as it was the other day because they were swollen my fingers were swollen my hand was swollen so it was kind of hard to even close my hand and I need to eventually invest in one of those scissors that are for um, those ergonomics I think it's called for people with arthritis I need to invest in one of those eventually because it would be a lot easier for me to fussy cut and I don't mind fussy cutting I actually like doing it so it's fun it's relaxing to me so it doesn't bother me doing that. But if my hands are pretty bad, then I can't. So I just have to wait until I can do it. So usually when I, I'm feeling okay, I try to um, fuzzy cut as much as I can. Unless, of course, I'm using the die cutting machine, but it's only for certain things that I use. Okay. Now I am going to uh, do the scoring on these. I could use my scoreboard, but I choose not to because it's just more stuff to take out. So I just do it with my bone folder. I think I'm going to do it right here at the edge of this one and this one. So it folds right here. I do this side as well. I think this is the bottom portion. I don't know if I'm going to put it inside or out. But we'll see. I was going to put it inside on this one. 
and then I changed my mind what I did was I put inside the one that was here so it was kind of like this one it had this but I decided to put it inside so let me fold this where I did the see like that which it's not it's not bad you could do that you just have to make sure you don't have any excess and cut it out but um, you can also use it this way and that would look really cute you know this one goes on this side so this one will fold this way and hopefully it'll work to do this part right here so let's do this I'll just fold it up on top of this and see if it works if it works I think it would look cute that way if we had it that way So the other thing that I'm noticing, but you see how that came out there? Might need to be folded a little bit more. So I might have to cut a little bit more here because it's not wanting to go over it. Let me see. It's maybe. Oh, that work. Unless I put this one here, maybe because it's bulky. It could be like that. But I've noticed this is this little hole here, this circle. So I have an idea. I don't know if you guys saw in my Instagram, but I made these cute envelopes for Lydia um, Raindrop Lila. And they have windows. See that? And, oh no, see what I mean? These things are not gonna last. I actually glued just the bottom so that it stays like that. And it can be the closure, just like I did here. See, it works. This one is not off, but it looks like it didn't work on this one. So I might have to glue this one again. Anyway, but though, I just wanted to show you the windows. See how cute that is? Look at that. And that's with um, Raindrop Lila's pictures. So that came out really cute. So I'm thinking that would be kind of like the idea. I could do the same thing. Just save them in here because I don't want my ephemera to get um, dusty or dirty or broken. So I just save them in here so that way I know I have some extra ephemera there to use later. So, uh, I want to cut this out. Maybe we can add the vellum so that we can see the inside and then we can cover the inside with um, one of Ruby and Pearl's uh, digitals. Let me check on the folder. This is her folder. I have a folder for each. I have to get the plastic ones that I like at Dollar Tree but they don't have them so I have to wait until they bring them back if they bring them back I don't want that on the inside mm -hmm. something that looks good I printed a few things for my um, flip flop journal so I can use and I have a few of different digitals from her shop oh this is cute I can't know that it's it would be kind of bad to not show that would be cool actually <laughs> hmm let me see let me cut this circle first and then that way we can we can actually audition some of those um, papers okay so I don't have a circle punch big enough for this I do have only this one this is only a 
1.59 centimeters, 5 eighths. Okay, so I have to do it with the scissors, which again, I don't mind. But eventually when I invest on the, on the things that I need for me to get my work done a little bit faster and easier, I will. In the meantime, I'm saving for an iPad because I want to use um, Procreate, which is one of the classes that I took already and I'm still taking and I want to learn how to use that so I can draw all of my doodles on my iPad and make them into um, art that can be used. My watercolor, I can do it on there. Can't wait. These are little pieces. Oh, excuse me, I don't need that. All right, we can try it now because now we have the hole and I think I'm going to probably add, let me just go ahead and this thing needs to be changed again. I just changed it recently. I need to get better uh, sponges that don't get so ruined like that so fast. These were the Chippo ones I bought on Amazon and they are they don't last very long they break so you know you get what you pay for so if you buy something really cheap and you expect it to last long don't because you get what you pay for it's it's very rare that you would find something that is very cheap and it would last a very long time but this no that's no it's not gonna last very long No, I made a mess all over her paper. So not the blue. Writing would be cute. And then put like a rose or something there. That would be a an idea. So I'm going to leave this one out. Or it could be in green too. Oh yeah. That's pretty. See, already. Quickly, fast. Mm-hmm. Now on the inside, what do I want to do on the inside? I think that when you are going to open it, it's going to be on this side that you're going to see it. Mm -hmm. So I might be able to use the same paper and I have to, so if I need another one. This one would match perfect. Yes, look at that, same colors with ruby and pearl, perfect. I think this is the one, yep, we'll do that. All right, let's see how we're gonna do this then. Because I want this one over here so that when you look, you can see this, but let me cut, I'm gonna leave these out for now. And I am going to use my ruler instead of the scissors because I just, I don't want to. Okay, let's do right here. And let's do right here. I want it closer to the wallpaper. And right here. Here, I might have to do the other side as well. And then do this side as well. Get rid of that little portion because the closer it is to the to the wallpaper, the better it is for me. I think. There we go. I love this, so it would be perfect.
perfect right here. See? And do that. Like that. But I'm thinking that I'm only going to do the top portion. And then the rest I'm going to put it on this side. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get as close as possible to the edge of the top right here. Okay. All right. The glue book it is. Oh, my goodness, this is getting dirty. I don't like when it does that. As it does it it brings it on to the project and I don't like that when it does that. so now I have to go straight to the edge and this edge stays on there and then I will fold it so it doesn't show on the circle I think I went too far huh like right there that would be good The excess I can just take it off, cut it off. And again, I cut off enough that I can use, and then the rest can be tossed because I'm not gonna use these little bits. This is just scrap. it again to where it was folded, fold it backwards. The stress, and there you have it. So when you are close, you can see that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Looks cute. Okay, so now we are going to do let's throw this out this side right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue it with this like that. So I'll probably start from here. Yeah, and that way I use this portion and I can salvage this portion here and this portion here and for something else. That's what I could do. So I'm not going to do this edge because then it will bulk it up just the inside. So I put plenty of glue. This glue is pretty good. I mean it works well here so I don't have to worry about it peeling off or anything. Plus. I always um, burnish it every time after I am done gluing it, I burnish it so that it sticks. But in the meantime, it can come off. So if you don't do it really hard, you can still take it off and redo it, which is what I love about it. But once I know it's going to be there and that's where I want it, and that's what I do. Burnish it really well. This way, when I am going to cut it, 
I can. So now I'm going to go straight that way with my scissors. Most of the time the scissors does, does it all. So I just let it slide so I don't cut the envelope in here. Look at that piece. Isn't that pretty? And I meant to do this part first and then the other side, but I didn't. So I'm going to do it this way. There. And I have this portion, which is cool. And then this I have to cut off. A really cute piece too. So at this point we can decide whether we want to sew around it which I was thinking of doing because while I was cutting I was trying to figure out in my head well how do I want to decorate it you know because I already put some of this um, distress ink but it needs a little oomph so I gotta figure out what I wanna do I probably wanna do this with the knife it's a lot easier let me lower this a little bit there so much easier and the scissors going in there Just went to the back. So I'm gonna take it off. What the heck? It doesn't want to come off. I have to cut it from here. But it looks good. How pretty is that? And even that looks cute. I didn't even think about that because I was thinking of what was I going to put here. <laughs> I said vellum, so let's try that. So I'm going to cut this piece off because you can't really use it once it's bent like that. You have to just use the strip. Okay, and then I can do this one this way like that right yeah and just fold it right here and with vellum i like to use my um um double-sided tape which i also need to buy some because i don't have my, this is all i've got left so we're gonna use the vellum like that and it looks like it's opaque which is really pretty now how can we decorate this okay i could do a stitching what color i can do it in black yes so that it stands out and we could do it in blue or brown I'm not doing it in white because i don't think we could see it so i just dropped the cover I'm going to have to pick that up in a sec. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine. And I am going to attempt to sew around this. And that is a project. Maybe I could do a messy stitching. But I don't know if I want to do that. So, hmm, what else can I do? 
I have, hmm, what else can I do? I could do the same thing like I did with the other one where I use paper, brown paper, and I do have another bag of brown paper here from the pharmacy. So, um, but as soon as I saw this, I was like, yep, this is a uh, scrap paper. And you know how Ruby and Pearl is always using brown paper. I was like, yeah, I need some of that paper. So that's what we're going to use. So let's say I want to use, um, something like to show like this. Do I want to do that? Uh, now I changed my mind again. I don't know if I want to do that. I do want this in here. That is just for sure thing. But now is decorating. But I don't. I don't dare glue this yet until I know what I'm decorating with, and if I want to decorate it from the inside first. So that's why I'm kind of hesitant about what I want to do. So let's see what else. I have that we can decorate with and I will be right back in a second so I was thinking maybe what I can do is a shaker but these colors I don't know would that look cute with this or uh, maybe the pink ones I might have to take some of the pink and the purple maybe yeah mm-hmm some of the pink one there's some like gold gold and pink I can do that and take some of them out and I think I have another I have a jar one for Christmas but I do have this one it has some yellow and orange that might work it looks like it might work I might have to take some of the orange but I don't know I feel like this one might look better we can try that originally I thought maybe in rose or whatever but I didn't I didn't realize that I was gluing this here until after I did it. So now it's done. So it changed my mind. Now I'm going to do a shaker. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put them here. And what I'm going to do is instead of sewing, I'm going to go ahead and, or should I sew it first? Yeah, I think I'm going to sew around it first. So I'm going to go ahead and sew around and I'll be right back. Okay, so this came out really cute. I did that messy stitching and it actually looks adorable. And I love it. That was easy to do because when you don't know how to sew very well, that works, right? Okay, so now I'm going to put some of this tape all around. And I am just going to go ahead and do this. Oh, let me get my knife. And cut pieces of it. And just put it around all over this edge. That way the sequence doesn't spill out and it is completely close to the edge of the circle well at least I hope I don't know I haven't done it before like that so well, it looks like there's a piece of thread there that I might have to cut out before I glue it in there 
that from this side? Yeah, it is. Okay, there it is. Cleaned up. All right, let's add some more of this. And I'm hoping I'm in frame because, yes, okay, good. All right, so I was not thinking of doing this at all. This just came after the fact. I've done little uh, shakers before, different styles. I mean, on different projects, that's what I mean. So I don't really use it unless um, I have no idea what else to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally need to uh, come up with some other ideas because I have no idea. I've I've seen other videos, but I haven't had the chance to sit down and do that because I am doing my calligraphy. I'm gonna start doing my calligraphy classes, and I was trying to practice to do that first and um and going into my procreate class so i haven't had much time to be watching more videos lately i did watch 49 dragonflies and i always love to watch her because she always gives me so many cool ideas but I would have to probably do it in the moment that I see her. So I like to watch her when I'm in my craft room because um, she immediately sparks ideas for me. It's very inspiring. So I need to uh, put her videos on when I'm here working in my office, in my, in my studio. My office studio is both, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now that I did that, I don't know why I took it off, because I still have to put tape around, oops, what is this, around the whole area to put the vellum, so I'm going to do right here, like this. And then right here do i have to do it right there no i don't that's gonna have to oh no do i yeah but i might have to cut the vellum oh, okay that that would work <gasps> oh i almost glued it together guys oi 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 wait wait a minute wait a minute yep that is messed up right there i'm not thinking because look at what's gonna happen now this is gonna get the vellum stuck on here and you're gonna be able to see it here and i'm not gonna be able to cut it off so what i'm gonna have to do oh again is try and take it off and maybe I can erase it. Hold on. So basically erase it. Ow! My hand's getting stuck. This thing works so good. And I think it's actually working with this double-sided tape. Oh, thank God. Look at that. It worked. Oh my gosh. They took it off, guys. That was my first time with the double-sided tape. So now I know it works. I might have to put a little piece on this side, but who cares? That's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's perfect. It didn't even ruin the paper, which I'm so excited about because that was a mistake that I thought I wasn't going to be able to fix. How cool is that? Okay, we can continue going. <laughs> oh my goodness, I almost had a heart attack. Every time I'm doing a video, that's when everything happens. If I'm 
doing it by myself no no problem whatsoever but i get a video on and that's it everything is a mess okay so i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna do just to the top so the three sides that's it for now right and then i think i might have to add another piece on this side because um yeah that one got kind of erased a bit from the eraser that i was using okay See, look at the little piece right here. I don't want that there. Get it out. Get it out. Okay. That's out. Take this piece of paper off. Sorry, guys. It's taking me so long. And then I will put it this way because this is like the back of it. I think, yeah, like right here, right, and here, and then I'll glue the rest of it later, so now I'm going to go ahead and do this, does this have like an extra piece? Mm. Oh, I didn't take the tape. How smart am I? Oh my goodness! How's it gonna? How is it gonna glue on there if I don't take the tape off? This one glued on this side for some reason. So, all right, there it is. And we have to put more tape again because I have to add another piece of vellum for the. For the shaker so how are we gonna do this is the question I might have to cut another piece so I'm gonna fold this one here like this right oh oh it got stuck oh <gasps> no 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 do you see what I mean guys oh my goodness all right, I'm gonna have to put some of this in here. Seriously, come on. I'm telling you, this is because I'm doing a video. It always happens. Every time. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's done. That's good. It's done. Let me cut this thing off. Might wanna cut it a little bit more. I'm thinking, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and cut just a strip. It's probably gonna be lopsided. It did not go straight. That's okay. And I don't need it so big. So I'm gonna cut this part here and a little bit of this side. And then we'll see right here so like right in the middle again all right that's what we're gonna do and instead of putting the tape on there i am gonna do it here so i'm gonna do the edges on this one first which side do i want this is the front like that like that yeah okay so i'm gonna put tape here Oh my goodness. Let's move this out of the way before it gets ruined. And then I am going to put tape all around here and all around the vellum. And then more tape here. And then tape right here. that's it and that way 
I can do the circle again here. Right here. Because I'm going to have to put the sequence in there, in the middle, and hope that it does not move while I'm putting the other vellum on top. That way it stays right inside the middle. So it's like, oh, not really double tape, but it'll be strong enough to hold it, hopefully. Like I said, I've done it this way because the last time I did it, I think I used a piece of a plastic from um, one of my um, uh, things that I have purchased online and it came in a little plastic bag. And so I took the plastic bag and altered it to use it as part of a window to do a shaker. So I have yet to see how this is going to work. don't remember if I did one with vellum before. I honestly do not remember if I did. I don't, I don't know. I haven't watched my own videos, so I don't know if I have. And once I've already done something for sale, I don't remember what I did in it. So, unless I go and look at the video, but I haven't. Which I should, because there's probably some things that I've done that I would like to recreate. Maybe tweak it a little bit more. And maybe I'll double check and see. Okay, so that's done. So I'm going to take the one in the middle out first. After, of course, I pick these. So I'm going to put some of the dark pink ones, because they look kind of purpley. Would it be a problem if I were to... Why are they getting stuck to my finger? I got static now. Oof. Would it be a problem if I use some of the blue ones too? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I don't think it would be. I think it would be fine. No, would that be cool to use? Like that, just a little bit, I guess. Not so much of the blue ones. Like that. I think that would work. Oh, but they keep getting stuck in my fingers. Don't know why. It's not glue, because I don't have glue in my hands, but um it feels like static all right i think that's good enough i'm just gonna try it let's see guys let's just try it Ooh, hoo, hoo. I gotta do the um the square now. Where did I put it here? Okay, let's take the four sides off. And hopefully this works. Because it's the static, you know what I mean? I just don't want that to happen. Mm. Ooh, pull, 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 pull. No! It kind of warped, didn't it? Why? Why did it warp the way I put it? Because I don't want it to break. Okay, so I'm going to go over the circle. Oh, yeah, look it. It got one in there. It caught one in there. Oh, no. Okay, I thought it was inside. It's on top. Get off my finger. Did it work? Let's see. What is this? This is the one that I need to probably cut. 
Oh man, I didn't even think about that again. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna have to draw it. Yeah, that's it. Just do it with a pencil right here. And that way I know that's what I have to cut. Hmm, what can I put in there? I think I have a piece of cardboard here. Yes. That's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I can stick the whole thing. No. Well, I can work with it. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I can work with it. Let's see. Guys, this is like MacGyver stuff because honestly, I did not plan this. Okay, that worked. All right, let's try just a little bit more right here. So I'm going to go carefully where I left off. Okay. And then bring this side of the of the card stuck because I don't want it to go through. Did I cut to there? There. And then a little bit through here. Oh my goodness. What a mission. Just to do a shaker, really? Really? Like why does this happen? Okay. Ooh, that little part right there. Right there. I think it's because it has tape. Let me go carefully. There. Uh-huh. There it is. Okay. So now that I did that, does it have any tape here? I just want to make sure it doesn't close, you know? So take the excess tape off so that it doesn't close my envelope oh my goodness this one was a mission seriously okay no sticky no stickiness no stickiness okay guys i think i think i'm getting there this really took a long time. I was not expecting that to be that long, to be honest. I seriously kind of had an idea and I thought, oh, I might just do this, why, why not? And then it changed and that's how my brain works. I'm gonna do it from here too. Oh, I definitely need to change this, it's not working. I'm going to do it here. And here. And here. Start working here. And here. Also. So it's just to give it um, texture, not texture, some interest. That's the word that I'm looking for. Some interest. And then maybe I can add like something to decorate on the outside. Yeah, I think I'm going to change that. So I'm going to have to go look for one now because that's horrible. Horrible, horrible. I do not like that. Look at this. I'm finding pieces everywhere. Okay, that's not good. Vellum here. Move this. I'm going to pause you for a second because I need to go get another one of those. Okay, I got a new one. So now, maybe this one would work better. Oh yeah, much better. I think I'm gonna do this part inside. But first I'm gonna see how I'm gonna decorate it. B. 
because I'm thinking that for this to close better and to be more space, um, it would be better if you do it on the inside, this portion. So I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so the, the, the other question is how I'm going to decorate the front. And for the front, I think we can use... I did girls here and this one a ribbon. I can also add a ribbon here. Maybe I can do two little holes on here and add a ribbon to come across or down here on the bottom. Yeah, I can do that if I can do it with a crocodile. Let's see if it gets all the way there. And if it does, I can do that. Yeah looks like I can from like right here right here and here and here and here right so I'll do a hole here and one here there like that there's not gonna be an eyelet I'm just gonna stick a ribbon and I have a thin pink ribbon that I can use um, it would fit perfectly in there so we'll do that first before I close it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece where's my fabric scissors I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece and you know I also have one of those the furry one looking let me see this one I can do it with this one too do the same size let's see if it looks good if it doesn't then I won't use it but just in case um this is the same size let's start again right here okay Let's try that and see how it looks. And I'm gonna thread both, but I'm gonna do an edge of it right here. Let's see if I can put it through. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be an issue but I am determined to do it mm -hmm. maybe the hole is too small but I don't want it too big because then you can't see it you know and I don't want to see it okay so the the fuzz went through not the other one so I'll do the other one okay after. so I've been here for over an hour now and I was just figuring I could do this right away so that I can show you more or less what I have done so I don't keep you here forever but I did cut this piece where it said New York Holland American line and it's a New York and whatnot and I used it in the back to make a collage but the top portion is still kind of open so that I can stick this flap in here to close so that's that's ready that's the closure I'm not closing it yet because I still haven't glued it together but now I'm thinking about I did a collage here and I still feel like maybe this doesn't belong here maybe the ribbon does and not this fuzz so I'm changing my mind and I am taking the fuzz out and leaving just a ribbon and see how it looks with just a ribbon because um I came into this little jar and I found uh, some of this um, music paper um, the vintage music paper so I found these little butterflies right here that I had fussy cut prior and I thought well why not just use some of these little butterflies to decorate the circle it's it's just so cute I have flowers too bunnies so a heart I don't really want to use the heart but I could use 
maybe the flowers so like if I could use um, two little flowers right here like that and then a butterfly in yellow like that that would be cute and then I was thinking well what about these leaves that would be really cute to use as well and put it on the side so I'm not sure yet um, what to do so like add this right here and then add the flowers maybe like right there it'll cover this maybe I can lower it a little bit and just put the flower like right here or on top of the leaf or I can do it right here like that and uh, cut the excess of course and then put the greenery right here and then the bow is it too much it looks like it is but I feel like I'm missing something but I don't know what it is don't know if it's the, maybe the ribbon maybe the ribbon is too pink maybe I need a different color um, maybe uh, red instead no because I already added some of that blue on the um, that's too loose I already added some of that blue here so that wouldn't that wouldn't work so see I'm in a bit of a predicament right now because I'm trying to figure out what should I do I do have a blue butterfly so that would work if I were to add a butterfly right here like that or this way or maybe in the middle or maybe here or here or here like that let me make a knot on this because if I don't what happens is it comes off and this is hard to do. Uh, if you guys have a better idea on how to knot things, that it won't come off out of place, let me know. Because it's hard to do. There. Let's see if that works. And it's so tiny that doesn't go over my my fingers so let's try that oh boy and soon my husband and my son are gonna get here with some groceries so I just wanted to hurry up and get this video going because I know that when they're here I can't do videos because you will hear them in the background with the TV and games and it's just it's just insane. There's no happy medium right there. So wouldn't that look cute? Or maybe down here like this, even if the bow is here. Let's see, like that. I already put the bow there. I can't take it out. I already did the holes. So I have no choice but to do that. Or would it be okay like that? I love the bow. It's cute though. Looks like it's on the side. Like that. Okay. Yeah. That's cute. And then I can put the butterfly right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this wet glue. Just tacky glue because I have to buy glue. I don't have any more. So I have no choice but to use this one. What's the back? This is the back. So I just do the tail and a little bit of the middle part. Because I like the wings to be loose. So I will put it right here. And let it dry. 
and it's done okay guys i think now i can close the envelope and it's done so i'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this portion here because it's gonna go on the inside So I'm going to put plenty so it doesn't come off. Like that. And then I'm going to go with the bone folder. And I am going to press it down so that it stays on. So now it's done. And now I'm going to do this side. Okay. And the same thing. I'll put it on. No, the bow came off. Oy. Here's the bun folder so that it sticks. It's done. Now I gotta do this again. See, this is why I did the knot. Because if you don't, it comes off completely. At least everybody knows how to do a bow. So I can put a little bit of glue on it to keep it together but i think i'm just gonna leave it like that oh my goodness that is so cute i love bows and butterflies okay and that's it look how cute that is i was gonna put a lace on it but you really don't need to put lace um you know i already did bows and butterflies so it, it will be too much to add to um why is it not closing now? Is this too much up here? It looks like it. I thought I did it right. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more of that corner there because it's too much for the thing to close. There. Is the other side okay? Okay, it looks like I need to do a little bit more. There. And then I might have to put a little bit of tape there because otherwise it'll obstruct. But you get the picture. It's just for me to be able to use the envelope to put thank you notes or thinking of you or whatever. Here goes my dog again. So there you have it. Look how cute that looks. Oh my goodness. With the butterfly. Let me pause you a minute. Look how cute. So that one came out good. So I have this one. And we have, let's put this to the side. We have this one with the girl, the closure in the back, and this one. These are so cute. They came out so, so cute. So I'm really happy with these. I can continue making more, but at this point, I think I'm good. I want to go and make some dinner for my family so i will see you guys in the next one bye now